am Paul Brody, and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Get Published Podcast, where we help authors get published with a proven system that works. Today, we're being joined by Mark Eisenberg, who is in the process of writing his first book about living with muscular dystrophy. Mark, welcome to the show. Hi, Paul. Thanks a lot for having me. All right. You ready to start in the questions? Absolutely. All right, let's do it. Question number one, Mark. What is the one piece of advice that you would give to a first-time author, like yourself, who is currently writing their book? Um, I, I think I'd have to say um, the most important thing is just to really believe in your content. Um, because any any time I – well, I don't anymore, but if I would start to have doubt – you know, should I pursue this, especially as being a first-time author? I don't know if I'm going to make it. But as soon as I lock into my belief in my content and I say this is, this is going to be successful if I, if I do everything right, then that makes me put in the investment to really want to keep going. That is a great answer. What do you feel is the hardest part so far in your experience about getting published? Um, it's really, it's just, uh, information overload. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, you know, cause I know, I, I know I want to get it published, but being that I don't have any background in it, you know, it's, there's, there's just so much information in out there and there's a fear that, you know, you're going to make the wrong move or you're going to talk to the wrong people. Yeah, and you bring up a great point because it's one of those things where you have this vision, you have this book, you get it done, and then the next thing in your mind is, okay, what's next? How do I get the book published? How do I get it edited? How do I get it formatted? How do I have it available in Kindle and paperback? And it can definitely be an intimidating process, and it was why I wanted to get have you on the show because you're actually our first guest so far that actually has not officially been published yet. You have your draft. You have it ready to go, but I was really wanting to talk to someone like you who was in that position where, okay, I've got this book done. And now what? What am I going to do? And that's actually going to transition into our next question, and that is asking about marketing. So have you thought of any marketing strategies that you plan to use with your upcoming book launch? Well, you know, what's uh, interesting is that being that it's about muscular dystrophy, um, I have a lot of connections with uh, the Muscular Dystrophy Association, which I'm sure you're familiar with. They used to do the telethons every year. Yes. Um and I have a lot of connections there, um, you know, and I think that's a great way for me to reach out to the, uh, especially the muscular dystrophy community um, and, and similar diseases. Well, and another tactic that we've had um, quite a few conversations about in our last um, four to five episodes is book signings and doing the book signings for the different local bookstores. And you could even do that in combination with companies and with some of the associations that you mentioned as well, where it's another great way to be able to market your book and get your book out there. Because from what I've found in especially the past few episodes is I've really talked deeply about how to get book signings set up. Is there a pretty smooth process for the most part to get done? Oh, okay. Very interesting. So let's talk about your favorite book. And what was the number one thing that you learned from it? You know what? This uh, it's actually it's funny. It's a book I read uh, years ago, and in, uh, in my senior year of in my senior year of high school, was uh, the Glass Castle by Jeanette Wall. Um, and I really it was. It was just an amazing story, um, and it taught me that no matter, you know, whatever whatever hardship or struggle, whatever thing you have been, uh, whatever inner demons you've been uh, battling, you know, through your life, you can, if you just go out there and tell your story, I mean, you can make a masterpiece out of it. And it was, it was just really a great story. Excellent. And let's talk about your favorite quote. So what is your favorite quote and why? <laughs> well, uh, that would have to be, uh, you'll always miss 100% of the shots you don't take by Wayne Gretzky because I'm a big hockey fan and also I, I firmly believe in it. I mean, I'm just always trying things and yes, a, a lot of them I failed, but I mean, there's only one way to find out and 
some of them have been successful and you know it, it makes it all worth it excellent well mark thank you for being a guest on the show today what is the best way for people to find you online well so far um i would say it's a uh, it's um facebook and linkedin um you know i i wish i was on other platforms right now but uh you know i'm just um was never much on social media but i'm starting to to try and make my way into it just for especially for the sake of my book but yeah facebook and linkedin you can definitely find me excellent well thank you once again mark for being a guest on the show and i wish you all the best in your author journey ahead all right thanks i appreciate you having me thanks again for joining us today to learn more about how to get your book published with a proven system that works, grab a free copy of my book at getpublishedpodcast.com.